tuendelee na makala haya ambayo yanamhusu kijana mmoja Elasha Lemayan ambaye ana virusi vya ukimwi na ambaye amebaguliwa. pia mambo na kumsulubu mwalimu mkuu aliyehusishwa na madai ya ubaguzi tulipanga ziara katika shule hiyo ya Naramat tulitaka kujua ni taratibu zipi zinazotumika kuchagua wanafunzi wanaotaka kujiunga na shule hiyo je vigezo ni vipi vya kumkubali au kumnyima nafasi mwanafunzi anayetaka nafasi we admit every child who comes to school and sits for the interview we interview pupils uh, from uh, class 1 up to class 8 and uh, once they've gone through the interview we have those pupils who pass the interview and we also have those who fail the interview uh, when they come uh, and fail the interview we use the previous progress reports of this child we don't we don't have any kind of uh, a discrimination of sending pupils away you know this child has not uh, done well kando na kutoridhika na jawabu lake moja kwa moja tukafululiza kutaka kuelewa ni yapi aliyojiri baina yake na mamake Elijah akikiri kuwa ni kweli walifanya mtihani na kukubaliwa ndani ya shule na kisha nafasi kukosekana this uh, particular parent did not come to uh, did not bring the child for admission on the said date hata hivyo tulipotaka kujua ni vipi kijana huyu tulimpeleka kufanya mtihani wa darasa hilo hilo aliweza kupata nafasi na kisha kupewa fomu hizi zinazomruhusu kuanza shule alikanganyika akijieleza Well that's not true. It is not true that there were some pupils who sat for the interview after she was told that there is there, there, there is no more vacancy and they were, and were admitted. I don't think that one is a true record of uh, what what has been happening even if we have uh, I mean we have our records clear uh, on uh, our admission dates how these pupils uh, came in and sat for the interviews and uh, when they were admitted to school so it is not uh, true to say that you know we, we were denied admission and and the, the, same, the same same parent I gave admission form otherwise I could not have given her admission form because Uh, first I must appreciate the fact that you know this parent was very open and uh, told me that this is the condition of uh, my boy my boy is uh, HIV positive that is after we had finalized everything and I told her that well that's not the first time we are going to handle a case of uh, 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 an HIV positive uh, child we, we used to have a case there in, in uh, class 4 though the parents transferred but we had a case here a similar case and uh, with a population of uh, 800 plus i don't think uh, uh, we'd say that that was the only case maybe there are some other cases uh, which probably we don't know the parents have not come out to you know to tell us that this is what is going happening here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but then it would be very very much wrong to say that she was ad uh, denied admission angetupa you know sababu halisi but alisema kwamba vacancy is full and yet tukapata kwamba kuna vacancy iliniuma sana nilisikia vibaya sana na istoshe mtoto wangu alikuwa affected kabisa alikuwa amevunjika moyo hakuamini kwamba anaweza toa sauti hivi amepanda mpaka ndege amenda mpaka UN ameongelesha maraisi kadhaa na bado yeye mwenyewe hii unyanyapa inamfikia yeye Takwimu za mwaka 2014 2015 zinaonesha kuwa kuna watu milioni moja nukta sita humu nchini wanaoishi na virusi vya HIV na ukimwi. Kati ya watu milioni moja nukta sita hao laki mbili unusu ni watoto. Mmoja wa watoto hao ni Elijah Lamayan ambaye ameweza kupaza sauti yake kuhusu vita dhidi ya HIV na kubaguliwa kwa watoto haswa shuleni. Ikiwa Elijah ameweza kupaza sauti yake jinsi alivyo Simbusi ya watoto ambao hawawezi kupaza sauti zao. Kisa alichokumbana nacho Elijah ni ishara tosha kuhusu viwango vya juu vya ubaguzi na unyanyapaa humu nchini. Kikiwa ni kisa kilichovutia hisia mseto kutoka idara husika. Wakati tulipata hii habari tulishangaa. Maana yake Elijah ni mtu ametoka nje ameanza kuongea amesaidia hata wenzake na kuanza kuongea mambo ya HIV. 
na tukasema kama Elijah ndiye anafanya anaweza pata unyanyapaa aina hii basi kuna watoto wengi wamepata wame changamoto uh, changamoto kutoka kwa shule huku visa vingi vikizikwa kimya kimya mwaka 2006 kuliundwa jopo maalum iliyo chini ya idara ya mahakama inayosikiza na kutatua visa kama hivi vinavyochipuka shuleni kazini nyumbani na kadhalika ni mahakama inayotathmini iwapo mtu mwenye virusi vya ukimwi amedhulumiwa au la lakini kuna wale ambao hata hii habari kama hiyo ikitokea hawataki wengine wajue na hiyo ndiyo kazi tunasema ni kazi ya HIV tribunal wafanye kwa siri na wafuatilie na waone kama wanaweza kusaidia wazazi kama hao na hisi na sisitiza na wazazi ambao ama guardians ambao wako na watoto ambao wako na HIV msiketi chini mkaliwe msikubali yote tisa mgala muue lakini haki yake mpe kwanza ningea penda kwanza na shule wasi wasikuwa na discriminate watu positive kwa sababu kuishi na HIV imaanisha ati uwezi enda shule kuishi na HIV imaanisha ati ukienda shule uta utaspreadia kila mtu hiyo virus lakini eh, lakini kama watu wengine wanaweza fikiria ni hivyo sasa nauliza aje Saida Swale KTN Leo makala maalum ya usinichague usinibague